Hey, C3, I hope you're doing well. At C3, we are in a summer series called Summer Playlist. We've been looking at the songs, and they cover every single emotion from the valleys to the mountains and everywhere in between. The psalmists show us that we can be who we are. We can express what it is that we're feeling and what it is that we're going through to the God of the universe who loves us and already knows uh, what's going on in our hearts and minds anyways. Well, this week, I'm doing a midweek devotion, and I was trying to think of different songs that I love, some worship songs from, from back in the day that maybe I haven't heard in a long time. And the lyrics, uh, better of one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere came to mind. I knew that it was a psalm, but I didn't know which one. Well, it turns out that it's Psalm 84. I want to encourage you to read Psalm 84 on your own. It's really short. Uh, but when I read Psalm 84, I was struck with the question uh, of, of, what happens when you feel like there's a gap between where you are and where you thought you would be? Have you ever had that feeling? I know that I have on several occasions in my life. You know, you map out your life and you flag out all these different uh, milestones and then you wake up one day and you realize that life has not happened the way that you planned it to be. Well, here's the thing that really uh, struck me as I read Psalm 84. In verse 11, I'm reminded that God doesn't withhold good things from his children. There's nothing wrong with making plans, but our plans need to always be informed by God's word and submitted to his will. And we need to realize that God sees the big picture. He sees the, the whole journey, not just the limited view that we have. And so when we narrow our eyes and we only see the path that we want to take, man, all those detours that come in life inevitably, they're gonna, they're gonna drain all of our joy uh, all of the joy of our salvation. But when we're open to whatever God has in store for us, we're going to be able to go from strength to strength on whatever path life takes us. And I, I see that in verses 5 through 7 of Psalm 84. And, and even more important than the milestones that we hit and that we celebrate or that, that we miss, and it's okay to be disappointed, it is the person that we spend the journey on. I'm going to go on vacation here in a couple weeks, and I get to spend time with my wife and my kids, and I get to see some other family, and that is awesome. And so regardless of where we go on vacation, it's who we're on the journey with. And the, the same is true, even more so, with our relationship with God, because time with God is ultimately what our hearts long for. It's, it's what we desire, and a day with Him fills our souls in ways that achieving our goals never will. And so make plans, pray for guidance, celebrate when you make milestones, be disappointed when you miss those milestones, but don't get so attached to a plan that you lose sight of, of the person, that the God of the universe who put you on this path. That's one of the things that we can do when we read through the Psalms. And I hope that you've been joining us and reading one or two Psalms every day. If you haven't, it's not too late to catch up. The Psalms are really short. Read three or four for a week or so, and you'll be all caught up. I want to encourage you, if you missed any of the, the two sermons in the series so far, watch them right here on YouTube uh, or go to c3willing.com and hit the sermons tab, and you'll be able to hear those first two messages. And then join us this upcoming Sunday uh, as I'm going to be sharing from a psalm that really ha has changed uh, the direction of my life once this psalm really sunk into my heart many years ago. It, it was life-changing for me, and I'm confident that it can be uh, for you as well. So join us at 930 uh, or 1115 in person. You can watch right here on YouTube at 930 or right here on Facebook at 930 as well. Uh, either way, I, I pray that you'll enjoy spending some time with God reflecting on his word, talking to him in prayer as you read and pray through one or two psalms a day and join us on Sundays as we take our next steps of faith together. Have a great week, everyone.